So we're just like taste testing gin. Oh, suddenly got really warm. Never. I just don't want you to be mean to me. I won't be. But you're always mean to me. Yeah, yeah. Suddenly <coughs> my face doesn't know what to do anymore. <laughs> Where do my hands go? <laughs> Hello YouTube, welcome to Chin's Vlogs. Do I look at the camera or on top of the camera? At the camera. Yeah, but- Why, why would you look on top of the camera? Yeah, because sometimes... That's a microphone, look. No, I know that's a microphone. There's no camera sometimes tricks. Sometimes when you look at the camera, it looks weird. This, this, no, it doesn't. This is why we weren't going to do it as a live stream. <laughs> Right, so, welcome. We're doing our question and answers thing. I've answered a couple that were directed at me. Well, I think it was six in total. They're directly purely at me already. So all the questions on here should in theory be questions that are for both of us. But I'm not very good with getting things that accurate. Most of the time I'm rushing about, so just haphazarding at things all the time. Anyway, so we thought it'd be nice if we drank some of the gin and answered a few of these questions. At the same time, this, I'll probably publish this at night so you can have a drink while you watch us so we're drinking together and stuff. I'd just like to thank Ed for the Bombay, the star of Bombay. We're really looking forward to trying that one. Justin for the Scottish rum. Actually, I'll turn them around so you can see it. Scottish rum. I don't even think this is on camera, but... And Chris for the muff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a child, but it's funny. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna. We just have to stop for a second. We've got some. Can you pass me the mango? Don't ruin it with the mango. So I am gonna ruin mine with mango because I love it. But we do have some gin and tonic cucumber because we're fancy, don't you know? Mm -hmm. Cucumber just to try them all first and then I'll bastardize them with the. Fui, when it hit me there! <laughs> That's a little insight into our relationship! <laughs> Right, so we're gonna. So I'm gonna start off with pouring a drink. That will give you time, guys, time to get one yourself. You're just gonna try it straight. Well, yeah, because if it's nice on its own, then I don't need to have it with anything. Fucking old call. Mother's room. Right. Sorry for my Scottish accent. My Chinese one is terrible. <laughs> I can't do one, can I? No. Shall I try? No, I'm not. No. <laughs> Mmm. Tastes lemony. That is delicious. I do like that. Also, I'm it's definitely going to cut it with... Mm. Oh. Because okay. otherwise I drink it too fast and by the four I know it, we've, we've drunk all three bottles. Yeah, that was quite a big... big one to... Oh! <laughs> That's wonderful! Is that delicious, isn't it? I made it flowery. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, it's not <clears throat> Right, so hopefully you've got your drinks. On to the first question. Oh, that's a long one. <laughs> right, okay, so I'll go from the oldest first. Okay, so the first question is, what's each of your favourite type of potato? Uh, now this head. <clears throat> Chinese potatoes aren't a thing. <laughs> um, um, this is obviously, uh, if you're new to the channel, or you don't know who I am, I have a larger channel where we have quite a few trolls and in order to deal with the trolls instead of fucking walking about and you know just oh, you're a fucking prick mate fucking this fucking that i've just told everyone who's part of our little family just to go and either type the word potato or just use an emoji potato sign because they don't know what to do with that and then they can just argue back and if you just potato in there's no argument to be had honestly if you are potato in there the key is not to do anything other than type potato Second you start interacting other than potatoing, you give them something to hold on to. Yeah, they get too excited. Yeah, they do, yeah. So they're, they're excited by words and human interaction. Mm, it's quite sad, really. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but my favourite type of potato is a Marish Piper because they make the best triple cooked chips. Oh, not like what kind of like mashed potato or something? Oh, very. Really? <laughs> Yeah, it's like that time Debbie Lovato went, what's your favourite dish? Do you remember? <laughs> there was a Debbie Lovato in an interview was going, so what's your favourite dish? And she went, mm, I really like mugs. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, that's, that's fine, spaghetti not good enough. That's what they meant, dishes and food dish. 
I'm not as sure. I'm not. I'm not sure what kind of potato I like, but I like mashed potato with lots of butter and cheese in it. I really like McDonald's French fries. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long. It has been so long. Okay, next question. Well, that's the answer to your question. McDonald's French fries, Maris Pipers. How and where did you meet? Now, a lot of people have asked this question. So if you've asked this before and I don't read your version out, uh, sorry about that. First question was by Martin O. Orman. Sorry, thank you for the question, Martin. Second question is by Nikki Bedford. Oh, Nikki, you comment quite a lot, actually. So, yeah, where did we meet? We met at a pub on Valentine's Day. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And that's that. I was wearing a suit. <laughs> and I was looking bitch-faced as ever. Yeah, Lydia also wasn't wearing trousers that were. I, I could tell she was really poor. She had holes in her trousers, and it I felt was sorry for fashion. her. Fashion. Yeah, that's what they all say. It's all fashion. Yeah. Ripped jeans. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, you seem to like them. I did, yeah. Yeah. So that's how we met in a pub called Stones in Minehead. About what was it? Nine forty something. I don't know. It was night time. I know. I had because there was a clock on the wall, and I had about three or four peas. Because you're sitting oh. on the stairs. <laughs> I you meant peas as in. <laughs> it's not 8.30, one pea for me. <laughs> you're weird, eh? So that's how we met, where we met. Babas, I'm sweating out, I need to take my top off. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is why it's good it wasn't live, because otherwise... What is going on? I really don't like this, like, diffuser thing. The changing colour on the top makes it look tacky as fuck. Is it acceptable for me to wear this? Yeah, of course it is, yeah. Lydia just said, is it acceptable for her to wear top? Of course it is. It's small top. <laughs> so, does Lydia give as good as she gets with regards to ranting? Yeah, except she rants at me, not about <laughs> things. <laughs> it's constant. Yeah, I do like a good rant. Yeah, you do, don't you? I'm quite judgmental. Yeah, she is. <laughs> I don't mean to be. <clears throat> But she is. If you could choose only one cuisine other than Malaysian slash Chinese to cook and eat forever, which would it be? Well, eliminate all fast foods because I'll instantly say KFC. But I think we should eliminate them. So it's something we cook. Well, no, because that's just what I'd eat. Yeah, but you can't cook it. I do like a good roast dinner. Yeah, but again, that's a bit. Well, it's my choice. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> I'm not eating that. Um, I think I would choose, you know the lockdown um, pasta dish I made? That, but using chicken. Oh, duck. Oh, no. No Chinese. Oh, yeah. Well, technically that thing I... Ah! <laughs> um, lasagna. Oh, yeah. With chorizo on top. That's really nice. Yeah, and lasagna. And lots of cheese. Lasagna. Yeah. That's a good one. If you wasn't in the food industry, what would you do? Model slash actor. <laughs> really hard to keep a straight face when I said that. Um, if I wasn't in that, I'd probably be uh, part of the reason I'm in the food industry and give up choos choosing my like, academia. I, was, I wanted to be a, a doctor, but I never went down that route. I just went down to business instead. I'd probably still be a groom. <laughs> Lydia's that sounds not, weird. <laughs> Lydia's not out there grooming kids. So. <laughs> she work, used to work with horses. Yes. Or a equestrian eye. I just made that word up. Equestrian eyes. Oh, the hay fever. Right, if you ever see me scratching my nose, it's because... It's because you're a dirty nose scratcher, that's why. Yeah, a dirty nose scratcher. And hay fever is real for me right now. I've taken an antihistamine. It doesn't, it doesn't stop, like... The itch in my nose. Could also be nose hairs. You do have really bad nose hairs sometimes. Yeah, yeah I do. Well, it's the only place I grow hair out. is in my nostrils. Yeah. And on your head. Is Lydia in the food business too? Yes. Yes. Yeah, Lydia. I eat the food and I take the food out. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That um, Bombay stuff I just love. It's delicious. Very nice. I really want to try the um, Muff Gin. To a little bit. So that's all the questions from Nikki. Thank you very much for them. They were quite nice ones, actually. Mm. Quite difficult, actually. James Merchant, what would you rather fight? 100 ducks, 
Oh, sorry. What would you rather fight? 100 duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Now, that would be... That's such a weird question. If you had said a thousand uh, duck-sized horses, I would have gone with the large horse duck thing. But because there's only a hundred, I'll take the smaller hundred ducks over the one large... Small... The small horses over the large duck. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm pretty sure I can kick really hard a hundred times. And they're yeah, quite small, I don't think they'd bother me. would probably be better, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. It wouldn't really kill you, it'd just be an inconvenience. It'd just be a bit ouchy on the ankles, wouldn't it? Yeah. Or you just stand on something. High. Like, yeah, just stand on something high. They can't climb. No, horses are incapable of Whereas a giant duck would probably quack your head off. When I say quack your head off, bite your head off. What do you mean no? It would it'd just be like, what are you looking at? They don't bite, they nibble. <laughs> Being nibbled to pieces is even worse. <laughs> so, a hundred duck-sized horses. Yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Thank you, James, for that question. Lydia, how do you feel about Chin documenting stuff on YouTube? I think it's weird, but I don't know. It's just another excuse for him to be talking all the time, really. I don't talk. All the time, it's constant. Today especially has been quite difficult. When do I talk a lot? You're just always making noise. Yeah, I do make noise. But I'm not talking. I don't talk to myself. No, but you're always like talking to me, like taking the piss or something, and mm. laughing at what I'm watching. Yeah, but that's because it's fun. Yeah, but it's annoying. I don't know. I don't know why Lydia's really easy to wind up. Because <laughs> it's constant. No, she's watching this TV show called Bloodlines, and so she really loves it. And I'm, and every time I ask her about it, I just ask her how the vampires are, and she look there. That's just, that's just because what, I know what's coming. I know it's not what's happening with the vampires, that's fine if it was just that, but because you're going to ask me 20 times within the next hour, and like every other day when I'm watching they're, it... They're not clear who's a vampire and who isn't in that programme! There aren't any vampires. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I hope that answers your question, Rick. John Marshall says, what is your favourite English food seen as you are always cooking Chinese? Don't say burgers. Oh. Fry up. Mm. Why did we not say fry up for the food that we could only eat? No, I think I prefer lasagna. Mm. But fry lasagna, up. But, yeah. but when, you're, when, when you want a fry up, there's nothing better than a fry up. Mm. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Even though you don't like the beans, which is weird. Well, the beans are gross. <laughs> Thank you. Um, for that question, John. Robert asks, if you didn't do what you were now doing in the catering industry, what would you do? I've just answered that question before, but um, it's a good question. I'd probably be in some sort of research lab or a doctor. Or if I didn't do that, possibly in the fire service. Oh, X fire photo, so that may be what I'd be doing. If you were on death row, what would your last meal be? And that, <laughs> that's by Ricky McNally. KFC. KFC. But that was actual a, a, a request by a different inmate. Because KFC's that yeah, good. KFC. So KFC. Hope that answers your question, Rick. Thank you very much. Dan, if you could recommend a dish to someone who hasn't cooked takeaway food, what would it be? Salt and pepper chicken. Mm. Or like any takeaway. I think they're like referring to Chinese takeaway. But I, if they've never cooked it before, I wouldn't say salt and pepper chicken, that's quite... What, recommending something or trying to explain what it is? It just says, if you could recommend a dish to someone who hasn't cooked takeaway food before, what would it be? And assuming haven't cooked means they're asking so they can cook. Not you in particular, but personally, Dan, there's no last name, it's just Dan. I would say chow mein is the easiest. The most popular, isn't it? Yeah, chow mein is the easiest. Chicken chow mein. Okay, so... RSA420 says, how does Lydia deal with your shite? <laughs> I don't. No, she, that's why she rants at me pretty much every day. Yeah. My mum's favourite wine is one that is in her glass normally. She's not too, <laughs> no, it's not too picky, you is she? Yeah. Besides drink, do we like any others? Oh, besides gin, do we like any others? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm partial to whiskey, wine. 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 Um, Red wine. 
Not white wine. Yeah, red wine. Uh, yeah, oh, whiskey and scotch. Yeah. And that's all the questions there. Thank you, RSA420, for those. Uh, this one's going to be quite long, I think. Oh, no, it's okay. So, Lapras. Lapras. Uh, first question is, what is your favourite fandom? Now, you probably don't know what fandom means, do you? Fandom is like a subculture of in geek nerd terms, so like Pokemon, Dragon Ball, um, Borderlands, like a game. Uh, I don't really have one. No, you don't, do you? No. Horses. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Mine is Dragon Ball. I fucking love Dragon Ball. Everything about Dragon Ball is my favourite. I live, breathe it. I watch it when Lydia's not here because she can't stand it. In fact, sometimes when she is here and I'm on the computer, I'll just have it in the background. Everything about it is fantastic to me. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> What's your favourite type of movie each? As in like each of us. And does the other enjoy it or have to suffer through it? That's a good question. We have a... Mainly like the same yeah. stuff. Sci-fi. Sci-fi, yeah. Sure. Particularly sci-fi. Sci-fi slash horror. Not horror as in just horror, but sci-fi mixed with horror. Yeah, not too scary. No, but you like that Pandora. Pandorum? Yeah, Pandorum, that was it, wasn't it? Yeah. That wasn't really horror though, was it? What are you talking about? There's things that can... Yeah, it's not out. scary. Fucking hell, what do you class as a horror? Like... Like the ring or something. That Freddy Krueger. Yeah. I don't like that. I'm not that a got bit... me for about two weeks. That did. Oof. Fourth Kind was a movie I can't oh, watch. No. I can't watch the Fourth Kind. But that's not really a horror. That's just too real. It's it's just too close to home, isn't it? It's just we live in the middle of nowhere as well. So yeah. No, thank you. I watched that. <laughs> I literally watched that movie. Fucking couldn't sleep for about four fucking days. Shit, you not. Like every time I went to fall asleep, I'd jump away just in case something was there. Mm. Fuck that. Never watching that ever again. We started watching it together once. Couldn't yeah, watch it. it. Could horrific. not watch it. But comedies. Fucking love comedies. Mm. Will Ferrell. Yeah, Will Ferrell's good, yeah. Sci-fi, like I said. Um, that's about it, really. Action. Mm. But not cheesy action, because they're all the same now. Die Hard. I like that. No, you don't. I did like it. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were just saying that. No, I did actually like it. Die Hard. Is Lethal Weapon you weren't a fan of, was it? Yeah, I didn't like it. No, Lethal Weapon's good. One, two, three, and four. You didn't like it, did you? You were born yeah. after the first... We watched them all in a row, and Lydia was born after the first 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. You didn't care, so it's all right. No, because I was not too old for that shit. Um, what is one place you'd like to visit if money or time wasn't a factor, and why? The moon. I'd like to go to the moon. Why? <laughs> Well, how many people have been to the moon? Yeah, but you can't really do anything up there, can you? <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> I can bring sports goods. And do what? Kick a football and lose it? Yeah. <laughs> how fun would it be? How far could you kick a football? Yeah, but you can't really kick the football that far, can you? It's just... Not in the Earth atmosphere, <laughs> but in there, kick it four times further. Yeah, but that's not really you doing that, is it? Yeah, it is. The moon. The moon. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm going to go somewhere a little normal, more normal, and go Sweden. I don't know why I've always wanted to go there. I, just like, I like the look of it. It looks nice. And the idea of being outside in a hot tub when it's freezing cold, I like that. Yeah, that's where we're going on the honeymoon. Yes. So, Sweden, the moon. moon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Rick has another question. He said, I buy a lot of ingredients from my local Asian wholesaler. They often have Chinese cakes and buns, but I am, um, but I've never tried them. Should I try them? Yes. <clears throat> uh, it's difficult. Even the weird sweet buns with sausages in them. It's, it is difficult because you're either going to like the flavour or you're not. It's not going to be a, hmm, that's okay. It's going to be, hmm, that's lovely, or a, uh, <laughs> Isn't it? That... It's the never... Chinese roast pork buns are the best. If you can find Chinese roast pork buns, the cocktail buns, if you like coconut and butter and sugar, that's basically what a cocktail bun is. Yeah. Um, the hot dog burger buns, they're amazing. If they have the curry buns, try them. The bean buns... Not so good. I, I like them, but again, mm -hmm. I've eaten them since I was young. Depends if they're deep fried buns as well, or if they're baked buns. It depends what's on the top of them. It's really difficult to explain, but try them. If you're willing to waste some money in the effort of finding something you like, I'd suggest it. It's a bit of fun as well, isn't it, really? 
maybe um, on our review channel, Gin and Chew Reviews, I will get some buns and uh, literally go through them, what they taste like with you guys, what they look like inside, so you know what you're getting. That's quite a good idea, good idea actually. Yeah, I'll eat them. I know you will. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so yeah, try them. Cheers Rick for that. Oh, I'm only hungry for buns now. Yeah, no, it's so. Okay, so we have another question, or we have a question from Lee, 1978R. And his first question was, we've already answered, which is how did you guys meet? Uh, second question, what age did you start cooking and can you remember the first thing you made? Yes. Yes. What was the first thing you made? First thing I made was a chicken curry. How old were you? About 12. Chicken curry? Yeah. You didn't even really like chicken when I f uh, curry when I first met you. Yeah, no, but it was just like one of those corner ones out of the jar, wasn't um, it? like the sauce. Yeah. But I cooked the chicken myself. Okay. I mean, I mean, I started cooking from quite a young age, but that was like beans on toast and stuff. Was it? Yeah. Mine was I was about seven or eight, and it was a roast duck breast. Ventress. I asked my mum how to do it, and she taught me. Mm. So you went with duck breast. I fucking love duck. <laughs> I'm making this really nice, um, it's not a, a takeaway menu dish, I've never seen it on a actual Chinese menu either, but it's, it's quite popular where mum's from, and it's a, like a red bean paste roast duck, and it's incredible, it's honestly amazing, boiled rice, it's a bit of chilli and cucumber. Pasty mm. duck? It's not pasty, it's like, it, you render it down so it's like a, a sticky, sweet, it's like an, it's what barbecue sauce. Is it the actual Actually, meat? It is. Or are you putting that on the meat? How am I making meat sticky? <laughs> I don't know. I don't it's know, maybe like, like you... sauce. I, I, what I heard was duck bean paste. No, okay. Which I'll, sounds I'll, awful. I might have said duck bean paste, but I meant a, <sighs> a bean paste that the duck is roasted in. Mm, okay. And yeah, it's kind of like the original nice. Chinese, like what you would call barbecue sauce is what that is. Yeah, that sounds better. Next question. Where do you see yourselves in five years time? The moon. Oh God. <laughs> do you let this moon thing <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years time, Alice? Hopefully rich as fuck on a farm. That would be quite nice. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Do, we have, do you need another drink? I would like to try... You want the muff? I, yeah, I want the muff. Gonna try some muff. <laughs> oh! I only want to try it because it's flavoured. Hopefully not my flavour. Oh. <laughs> thank you. So thank you. I think it's Chris for this one. Ooh, it smells strong. Yeah, Chris. Oh, this smells um, like vodka. Oh, it's so strong that made my nose hurt. But that is lovely. It's got a nice aroma. Look at me, I'm Floyd Grossman. Lloyd, Chris. Lloyd! Floyd! Floyd! <laughs> Floyd, <laughs> Floyd is his shit brother! You wanna call him Floyd? What do I do? No, his name is Floyd. Lloyd! Lloyd! His name is Floyd! Bloody <laughs> <laughs> hell. That is really nice. What? That'll put hairs in the chest, that's for sure. <laughs> well, about time. <sighs> You're like, what, 34 now? Yes. And I can't grow hair. Mm. I need more of this. <laughs> <laughs> Bathe in it. Oh. It's really, really good. Oh. The flavour is incredible. Mm. The alcohol has a kick, not unlike being punched in the throat. It's really harsh. It's not that bad. <laughs> oh. My mum would like that. Yeah, it's very alcohol isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> But this one, I, I can drink straight. I don't need the cucumber. I did. I could drink that one straight, actually. Ooh, I'm hard. No, but it's just like... <laughs> That's very good. Cool, that is very alcoholish. Ooh. But thanks, Chris. That's lovely, actually. Yes, thank you very much. Just a wee, wee splash. The tonic ruined it. Cheers, sweeps. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, five is cucumber. Yeah. Probably. Mm. Five years time. Oh, where would I want to be in five years time? I would want to have finished my third or fourth book, have it published by a mainstream publisher 
who would pay me a decent amount for it rather than a shitty amount that they would offer normally. Uh, I would enjoy having a YouTube channel with more than 100,000 subscribers. That would be quite nice. Probably two or three more restaurants. And to the point where me and Lydia wouldn't have to work in them. Obviously, me being me, I cannot not do something. As long as I'm just heading it up and visiting them. I would love to do, like, so every week, if I had five or six, I'd spend at least one day there. Not overseeing, I mean, not overseeing my staff because I don't trust them. More for the fact if that got to that point and YouTube was pretty big and I did have all these books, uh, TV contract, starred in a couple of movies. Uh, <laughs> I would like to make sure people knew that if they came to one of my restaurants, there was a good chance I'd be there. It r irritates me when you see um, a name of someone in a restaurant and they're never there. So what's the point in having that? Don't get me wrong, I probably would own a lot of restaurants, but I wouldn't put my name to it. So I'd call it something else and I wouldn't say, I, I, I wouldn't outright say I owned it. And that's not because I'm trying to be real sneaky beaky. It's because I don't want to trick people into thinking that if they come to one of my places, they might see me. I'd rather let the food do the talking for itself. Unless I franchise, which I am thinking about doing, franchising Jiang's um, Chinese food across the board. But then if that could be any anyone who's willing to buy into the franchise would run that. And then I'd pop down there every now and then just to make sure things were running correctly. That could lower your name a bit though. Uh, would, but you, you'd do it in a way so you have a contract where if they're found not doing the things right, mm. it gets terminated instantly. And oh. they give you a deposit of X amount. And if it's terminated for, they're found to be continuously um, breaking the rules, they don't get the deposit back. Mm. That's quite good. That money can never be touched. It has to go into a separate account that is not used. So it can't ever be used. So when they do decide, if they ever decide they don't want to do it anymore, and they just want to leave or pass on their, um, or sell their franchise to someone else. They get their whole deposit back. Mm. It's, it's, it's the only way I could think of keeping the standards high, then not piss about as if there's a monetary thing to lose. As long as I keep it separate, and then I think a trustee's name, so like a bank or something. Anyway. Yeah, you're waffling. You're know, waffling, yeah. I'm like a small bacon. Yeah. <laughs> it's lovely, wherever it's coming from. Bacon sandwiches, I take lasagna back. Bacon sandwiches. No, because with lasagna, you no. get the bacon. No. Fine, I'll eat the lasagna. Bacon sandwiches. Uh, so that's, what did I say in five years' time? Realistically, in five years' time. The moon. The moon. <laughs> <laughs> I think I said that already, didn't I? Yeah, you've mentioned the moon, moon quite a few times. The moon? The moon. No, I said that. I said, where do you see yourself in five years' time? I said the moon. Oh, you're doing it. <sighs> Thank you, Lee, for those questions. Chris Pettit, how would you like the Chin and Chu Empire to grow in the future? More restaurants, focus on growing the channel YouTube, start more channels, home recipes would be great. Basically, you just asked me what I just answered, but at the same time, we're gonna start incorporating our actual food that we sell in our restaurant and home recipes as well onto the main channel. It's getting to the point where people are asking for it, so we're gonna start doing it. The YouTube channel and everything that's brought with it, so our web store, my cookbooks. Why do I need another glass? Because I feel like you're not gonna finish that one. No, I'll finish it. Oh, I thought you said you didn't like it. No, I said it ruined it. But that doesn't mean I don't like it. Oh, okay. Okay, because I just want another one. Oh. I'll try another one. one. Mm. Very ginny. I can't remember what I was saying. Yeah, more restaurants, but more French. I want to start franchising if I'm honest. So if anyone's interested in that, give me a bell. We can talk. Oh, that one's stronger than the last no, one. No, fuck off, is it? <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, that definitely dries out everything in your mouth. Mm. Recipes. I, 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 I'm sorry, I can't, I can't remember what I said, but yeah. So hopefully I answered your question before I rudely got interrupted. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Okay, Matt says, if you built a theme hotel, what would the theme be and what would the rooms look like? That is a good question. Mm. Food themed with cheese beds. Why are you such a cheese head? I love cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I love the cheese. I just love cheese. <laughs> Anything for cheese. Like, 
I go a bit Darren with cheese as well. Yeah, you do. Like anything I mean, that could possibly I have. Yeah, I've already put some in your glass. Oh, uh, I was thinking, why is the bottom of my glass moving? <laughs> 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 but yes, yeah, cheese. I like cheese very much. Um, it's not oranges. Theme. <sighs> it's so strong. So you basically just have a theme park called Cheese It? Yes. If I had a theme park... Loads of cheese stands everywhere. Would you? Like food stall stands, but with cheese in them. If I ha could choose a theme park theme, I think it would have to probably be based on something sci-fi like Star Trek or... Mm. Or Stargate because... Oh, Stargate. The rides, you know, you're travelling through space and you go through gates and appearing instantly one other side. That would translate really well into a themed ride park. So you want to go, so rocket straight up in space. Yeah? Then you've got flying around space. I'm really good. <laughs> I'll shut up now. So that is what I would do. Oh, and the rooms. Do you get rooms at theme parks? Yeah, you can stay in them, like Olden Towers. Because if you live too far away, you can rent a room. What about Disneyland? I've never been to Disneyland. No, but you know you can... Well, do you think you just turn up there for a day? Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, if that's what you thought, then that's as well. But no, is you, uh, you kind of turn up and... Oh no, they do have those, like, sort of big suites, don't they? Yeah. My room would just all be black. And then when you switched off the light, everything's glow in the dark. Surely <laughs> 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 my guests. <laughs> So yeah, thank you Matt for that question. Jason Hollis asks, what made you choose your degree and why swap out for cookery, cooking as a career focus? Uh, I chose my degree because I enjoy biology. I wasn't particularly good at normal school. It wasn't until I was at uni that they figured out that I was severely dyslexic. So change, I had to change my learning style and when I realized that, it was really easy for me to learn. Like I pick up things like that now. But before that, I just couldn't grasp. I think science was always my number one. And like, in fact, I was always quite, I was in quite good sets at school for maths and science. Science I was top sets for, maths I was, couldn't, they wanted to put me in the top set for maths, but I could only go in to the medium set because my English set wasn't good enough. My English um, results weren't good enough. This is a true story. I had a mate and they were going down our, the list of, when I think about it now, they never do this nowadays, but back then they were going down the list and going, Daniel Allen, my mate. Reading age of 12.6. And I've roared across the classroom going, Ah, Daniel, you fake fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Daniel just sat there, looked at me and goes, Fuck off, fuck off. And chin. Four. Reading age, 11.2. <laughs> what's she? Look, look, look at this. I just burst out laughing. And the teacher goes, Why are you laughing? And I said, Because I cheated. <laughs> Then when I picked biology because I was always good at science, I really went into cooking because basically family needed me to at the time. I did, yeah, long story short, is I just didn't feel like I fit in. Uh, by the way, this was like nearly 15 years ago, things have changed um, since then. In fact, it was 14, 15 years ago. Things have changed a lot since then. Um, will you do another book about pitfalls of, I've done this question already on my other channel, not other channel, on my solo question and answer. So Hayley, thank you, Hartley, ha Hartley Hair, Thank you for that one. Um, I've already answered that, as you guys know. Michael Barron asks, can Lydia cook herself? If so, best dish? Lasagna, one pot, very easy. I'm not that bad at cooking though, am I? No, you're good. It's okay if it's all in one pot. Uh, your food's really nice until you start second guessing it. Like when it's something you've done over and over again, it's fine, and then when you start panicking, and all of a sudden you just forget things. I take a long time to cook though, because I'm terrified of getting sick. If I cook, like chicken, I'm cooking it for about four hours just to make sure. <sighs> Which is why you always cook the chicken and I cook the beef. Did you just have another sip of gin? Yeah. It's really sweet though. It's I not. Quite have like you had that. it with the, the cucumber? No, I've just had it on its own and that's really nice. It's very nice with the cucumber. I think my favourite though. I am feeling a little bit drunk now though. I'm feeling a bit tipsy. And I don't normally get. Oh, we haven't eaten. Yeah. 
It's eight o'clock and we literally haven't eaten a thing. So yeah, Lydia can cook. Can? Can. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you live close to your mum and dad? Lydia doesn't, but we live in the yeah. same house as my mum and dad. My mum lives like 20 minutes away, my dad lives about half an hour away. So, hope that answers your question, Michael. Thank you for that. Uh, Pete Mayers always comments quite a bit as well, and they're normally quite funny. My question is, what's your favourite British meal? We've been through this one as well. And favourite Ch oh, favourite Chinese meal. Ooh. Chinese takeaway or? Let's go with, no, let's go with Chinese, full stop. Chinese takeaway? No, like. Your kind of Chinese food? Any sort of Chinese food. Okay. Oh, there's so many. Yeah, I know, I was just thinking that. I like ribs. Ribs are really good. Yeah. Salt and pepper chicken, very good. See, so you're sticking with the takeaway stuff, huh? Nice. Oh. Yeah, no, because that's all I can think about. I'm just so hungry now. Duck. I love duck. Yeah. Duck rice, two eggs, are my favourite dish. They probably would never have had duck rice before. It's basically just rice, duck, with two eggs. A little, it's a little bit more than that, but yeah. <laughs> essentially. It's a special seasoning on top. Essentially, yeah. Essentially, that's what it is. And I don't use MSG in that. Mm. Yeah, no, it's disappointing, right? Well, there's a shit ton in the soy sauce. Well, yeah, naturally occurring, but yeah. Still MSG. Yeah. Let's not split hairs. No, I'm just saying, it's like. It's, I don't add it to that. It's the only dish that um, I don't add to. Mm. Actually, there's quite a few. But that's just because the soy sauce I use is just heavy in it. Naturally, mm. but anyway, that's by the way. Um, I didn't answer my one. My favorite Chinese dish, yes, cow yak, roast duck. Sorry, I don't know why I said that Chinese. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's hot. <laughs> I know things, <laughs> it's because that's what I order it. But I, not the kind you get in a takeaway, the kind you get in a restaurant. It's cow, like, oh, no, it's just it's, it's mm. just roast duck, it's being hung, it's being cooked in specialist ovens. There's a recipe for it in my book. If you follow that, it will come out pretty much exactly, but the skin is difficult without that oven. Because the ovens they use are oval shape, which means airflow is constant. And there's no sort of squares where it can cause like turbulence. And that's where you get uneven spots on your skin. You need a constant sort of airflow. Very technical if you do it properly, if you can hang it in your oven. Like I say in my book, you can, you can get the same results. It was very good as well, the ones that you made. Yeah, yeah. Really good. Thank you. Mm. I'd expect it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, RSA 420 is back with another question. Do any of you like durian? Hard fruit. I lived in Cambodia and my students gave it to me as a gift. Haven't tried it. Don't like the smell. <laughs> hate the smell. <laughs> hate the taste. <laughs> it tastes exact. People go, oh, it's so wonderful. The, the, the smell is nothing like the taste. The taste is uh, creamy. It's 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 soft Why and have it's. Why you got an accent? Because that's they're normally toffs. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this is like some weird mashup of accent. <laughs> okay, yeah, just, <laughs> just speaking in normal. Form. No, but I had to get the toffiness and part. And they're, they're the kind of people that don't say, "Oh, I've been to." Um, yeah, I've done I've Thailand. I've done Thailand. <laughs> Have you? You completed it, yeah? <laughs> I've been there. The yeah. only thing I know is Pad Thai, though, so... Oh, well. it's, oh, so irritating, that. When people come into the shop and they're like, oh, I've I, I've been there before, and I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. Just your mum telling me that my washing went wrong. Oh, God. I don't quite know how. <laughs> the machine's broken. Oh. Yeah. Can you just pause it for a second? Just... Yeah. Oh. Is it still going? Yeah. Whoa, we've been filming an hour. Have we? Yeah. I'll just wrap this one up. What? Why? Why can't we keep going? Oh, you want to keep going? Okay. Yeah. Okay, go on. Sort Might your, as well. Sort your stuff out then. I don't need to. Oh. Your mum just said it went wrong. There's nothing I can you do. You just said stop it and then you can go no, sort it. No, just so I can text your mum back. Oh. Uh, Next question. <laughs> Next Chris question is from Raiden Schofield. Would Lydia ever do a video on Jan's channel recreating one of the, your dishes to show just how easy it is? Oh, that's quite Yes, good. I keep suggesting this. You've never suggested this. I have suggested I said to you, would it be good if I just did... Like, it would be a good idea if I followed one of your recipes to see how easy it actually is. I don't remember you saying that. You ever. are a little bit drunk right now. It doesn't... Yeah, but being drunk doesn't make me forget. You, I forget you, things because I was drunk at the time. Yes, I would love to do that. So there's your answer, yeah, yes. I will do that. RB211 asks, 
What is Chin like to live with? And same about Lydia. Awful. Nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the question. I'll be two, one, one. The upside is he makes fantastic food though. Very good food. And she's really fit, so. Thanks. <laughs> um, Josh Cothier. Cothier? Clother? Where? Joshua yeah, sure. Clothier. Whatever you're saying. Ask, what cars do you drive? Lydia. Toyota, small one. I go. Very powerless. <laughs> kind of like a bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> I have a Audi Q7, a Porsche Panamera. And I still have the Toyota. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm about to buy a new uh, Volkswagen Golf fan. I still have the Toyota. The next question is, does Lydia drive? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what is your favourite dish from your street food menu? Oh. Duck rice. Duck rice. <laughs> Amphan. No, I could do without the oyster sauce. No, Amphan is my favourite. I could feel the hay fever and my nose is clogging up. Should I close the window? I'll be alright. Smell the bacon's gone. Yeah. English AV asks, England AV, sorry. What does AV stand for? You comment quite a bit, but I've never known what AV means. England AV. Is it a football club? Maybe. Anyway, asks, full English or noodles? Full English. Full English. Definitely. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, but we don't eat enough full Englishes to enjoy it. We always eat noodles. Yeah, but like when I'm in the mood for noodles, I'm not I want such a noodles. noodle fan. I'm not either. I wait for rice, but when you get noodle in there, like those packet, right, packet noodles, Ooh, when you yes. get ramen in your head, you yeah, need they it. They are good. They are very good. I think I've had about four this week. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. One of them was a double packet. <laughs> I'm gonna go with. I think full English does top it though. Mm, yeah. Yeah. We've had that. Cause Sophie S asks, "How do you put up with him?" Smiley face. I can't and I don't. <laughs> <laughs> he also says, "I'd love to see you do a collab with Smash Fishing." When his crap has blown over, when this crap has blown over, he's coastal forager. Oh, um, basically we could cook along and he finds something and cook with him. That'd be good. Yeah, I'll try and get in touch, but YouTubers tend to not want to talk to me. I don't fucking understand why. <laughs> it's because you're annoying. That's <laughs> they, they literally just fucking blag me. I think it's, I don't know, maybe I'm too honest on YouTube sometimes. Yeah, well, they need to pull the tampons out, don't they? Yeah, a lot of, this is, this is why I don't think I could ever be mainstream and don't get me wrong i would fucking sell out in a heartbeat if someone said to me here is two million pounds stop swearing fuck yes <laughs> don't, don't. it's just like fuck, of course yeah, i'm going to things are getting so like oh you can't say that you can't say this people still want to see honest stuff fuck that two million quid that's a set for life i could invest that make that into a billion you can't buy the farm i want with two million and a new car for me <laughs> I never said I'd, that's what, I'd just go and spend it, that's ridiculous. You want to buy a, a, a um, what is it, Lamborghini for Dan, just to burn it. Yeah. And you want to buy a million pounds worth of jelly babies and burn them just to see what happens. No, what I want to she's putting words in my mouth here. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm repeating what you I'll, said. I want to, I want to buy my, my one of my best mates, uh, his dream car, which is an Audi R8. It was Lamborghini before. No, it wasn't. It's always been an Audi R8. But I said, you asked me what's that, and I said it looks like a Lamborghini. Anyway. Oh, okay. All right then. Um, drive it outside his house, give him the papers with his name on it, and then burn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so mean. But the carcass itself would be worth like 50 grand, so. Burnt. Yeah, joke's still on me. I'd just love to see his face. I don't, but by the way, just so you know, if it was the other way around, he'd fully do the same fucking thing. We're both just as bad as each other. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, thank you, Sophie, for that question. I don't think that was a question. That's in the ass. I think it was the same thing. But <laughs> thank you for your um, original question, Sophie. My question, well, my question, this is from Gloss Galore. My question is, what's the first thing you're gonna do once you're out of lockdown? Um, when lockdown finishes, mm -hmm. we are staying in for another three to four weeks. Yeah. We're going to be, like, clever about it yeah. and not flock like everyone else is and then catch the virus and then have to go back into lockdown. Yeah. We're going to stay in. Yeah. We're going to stay in. But after that, go to KFC. Yes. And then Pizza Hut in the same day. Yes. 
Um, and then but, back to KFC. Well, what I might do is buy a, a pizza from Pizza Hut and say, don't cut it. If they cut that fucking thing, I'm throwing it back. <laughs> you want to fold it? <laughs> I am going to say, don't cut it. Then I'm going to go to KFC, buy KFC. You're not going to do what I think you're yeah, going to do. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do this. <laughs> oh, I'm then going to fill the pizza up with KFC and then I'm going to roll it. Mm. Oh, and KFC gravy to dip it. Oh, yes! <laughs> I think I'm going to film this. This is going to be on a vlog. I might be on um, Chim and Chew TV because I might do it with Mum as well. I don't yeah. think she'd be interested in that though. I, it'll probably be well, on she there. likes KFC. She we does. were standing in a line behind them for at least 10 minutes and we didn't even realise it was them. But, but this was two years ago, pre-lockdown by the way. Because KFC's yeah. obviously not open though anyway. <laughs> KFC, once we feel like it's yeah. safe to go outside, KFC. Because everyone's definitely going to be stupid about it. They go, oh my god, we can go outside. And they're going to all like fucking gather. Yeah. And be knobheads about it yeah, and yeah. all lick each other's faces. Yeah. And then they're gonna We've get never sick. done this before, guys, well, let's start now! <laughs> right. And then they're all gonna get sick and then we're all gonna get fucked again. Yeah. So don't do that. Don't be that person. Please don't. I really want KFC. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Please>. McDonald's. <laughs> oh yeah, and then on the way back home we're we'll going to McDonald's. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a good day. Right, so next question. Mm. Thank you, Gloss Galore, for that. Susan Joa Joa Hill Joa Hill. Susan asks, my question is, what do you prefer, sweet or savoury items? Savoury. Every time. Mm -hmm. I only buy sweet stuff when I'm hungry, but it's obviously because my body craves sugar, so I'm buying the sweet stuff. If I'm not hungry, I won't buy sweets. I just I just like to munch on savoury things. Mm. I'd rather have a main. A main and a main rather than a start of main and a dessert. Yeah. John Rick asks, how old are you and your mum? Mum is 59, 60 this year, and I am 34, 55. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm 34 going on 55. <laughs> I am 34 going turning 35 this year. <laughs> And Lydia is 23. Yes. Yeah, there is a huge mm -hmm. age difference between us. High five! Hey! <laughs> okay, so thank you very much. Gum rip for that. Gum rip. Gum rip? Gum rip. Anyway, Mary Giles says, what is the best thing about each other and the worst? The best thing? Yeah, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> The worst thing I can think of. <laughs> you're very loving. That's the worst thing. No, the best that's thing. A, that's quite a nice worst thing, yeah. No, you're very loving and you're funny and you appreciate me. The worst thing is he likes to keep the door closed after he's been for a poo, so when I walk in, it's like a wall of poop. I don't want that stank getting out here. I sat in it for half an hour. What the fuck do you think I would have flown around here for? It's gross. And he's insanely irritating. Like, to the point where it's almost a hobby for him. It is a hobby for me. It's what I, I live to do. I live to irritate. It drives me crazy. But yeah, that's that. Wait, so the camera turned itself off there. Sorry about that. I think Lydia had just finished answering what she was, the, the question. And what I will say is, best things about Lydia are her legs. <laughs> <laughs> what? I really like her legs, they're really long, and her face is pretty, every, well, just... My face is good. <laughs> and her general appearance is fantastic. She's also really, really, she treats me like a fucking king, to be honest. If I'm being like a child, and my tea is slightly too hot, she will add more milk or put it under a fan for me to cool it down. <laughs> Stuff like that, just, she literally does look after me. Almost as if I'm invalid. <laughs> yes. Well, you are sometimes. <laughs> <clears throat> but, yeah, the worst thing, the nagging. Yeah. She is a nagger. But tea under fan. Yeah, no, I get that. And that, that <laughs> outweighs everything. It's just like, sometimes she'll also be... Why? Ro be... But, be but no, wait, no, 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 it's just sometimes she'll be wrong. Like the other day, I, I just stopped arguing because I remember the conversation, but she came in and was like, you can't use that marker for this. And I'm like, well, I've got a whole another box of colored markers. She goes, no, you haven't. You've only got white ones. I said, no, I told you I have a box of white ones. And the conversation they had about three days before 
I said, I've, I've got a white one in the box of the coloured ones I bought. And she went, I don't even, didn't know that. I said, yeah. And then I said, but I have also bought a box of white ones. That's how the conversation went. And Lydia didn't remember it, but I was wrong. Yes. Obviously I was wrong. So <laughs> I just stopped arguing because I was cooking at the time. But that's about it, really. It's just normal things. We don't argue about... No, um, we don't really argue that much. We do. We when we do, it's bad. Yeah, we haven't argued for a while though. Uh, and it's normally fat things that are out of our control. Yeah, but it's normally, we normally argue at work, so it's not like home life which is making us argue, it's work stuff life. at work. Yeah. yeah, it's normally something to do with customers. So if we didn't work together, we probably wouldn't argue. Yeah, which makes me think that if um, Lydia worked with someone else, she'd be fired every five minutes. Oh, definitely. Yeah. But then I have been used to just working outside my whole life. Yeah, we're just horses. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, they don't really talk to you very much. Yeah, that's evident. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you very much for that question, Mary Giles. Um, Count Dracula uh, or comments has been commenting since we've probably been on 2,000 subscribers on the other channel, so he's been here for a while. So thank you very much for your massive support. He says, are there any dishes on the menu where you think, oh, feckin' hell, I have to make that? And <laughs> they order it five minutes before closing. Yes. Surprisingly, it's rice dishes I hate doing because, really? yeah, yeah, noodle dishes are really easy. Yeah, but pad thai like takes like 15 minutes, yeah, well, like 10 it's, minutes. It's easy, I can I can leave it. Rice, if you leave in a particular spot for a little bit too long, you can make a chewy layer. Mm. Yeah. Uh, or, or you can overcook it and it goes like goop. And also it takes forever because it's quite dense. So a rice, anything rice dish based where I have to cook it in a pan. So, so we know if people come in and order rice dishes five minutes before closing, we know who to come to. Yeah, you bastards. Seen this. You absolute dickheads. <laughs> Actually, no, please come in. I'd, I'd, I'd find it hilarious, especially if you did it deliberately to piss me off. Um, so his second question is, MSG is so poisonous, why do you use it? <laughs> Thanks for my drink, by the way. Oh, shit. Where's your glass? <laughs> it's full. No, it's got fizzy in it. Oh, there's nothing in there? No! Stop! I know for a fact that we've had lengthy conversations about how... I'm just explaining this to Lydia, because she wouldn't get the joke. He's fully on board with the MSG. Oh. MSG's good. It is good. Your body naturally produces it, and when people go, Oh, but that's natural MSG, it's not the same as... MSG is MSG. MSG is MSG. It's like saying, you cannot get it. And here's one for you. The second it touches an aqueous solution, so anything with a high water content. MSG no longer exists, it just becomes one glutamate and one sodium ion or one sodium. Also got to think as well, Chinese people seem to live a long time and they've always had MSG in their diets. What so, does that tell you? So it's Westerners. It's just like it's been in your we'd food. all be dead if it was bad for you. Read my book, like I say all the time. Uh, you can purchase your book my your book? You can purchase purchase my book through our website at the moment, which is pre order only. It has been held up by four weeks. Pre order. So, yeah, pre-order. <laughs> so that's uh, a bit of a bummer. The world situation as it is, if you get arsy with me, I will, because I, I can, I will just refund you the money and block you from the site. So you it can has never... been very good though. People have been really, really good recently. Not one person has been arsed. One person was a bit of a knob and they put a few exclamation marks after, where's my book? And I was just like... I ranted about that once as well. Virus? Question yeah. mark? So that's that question done. <laughs> That wasn't even a real question. Do you ever realise after pressing the read more button that you've just been trolled by the ang- but the anger has already started? I don't understand, I don't understand that one either. Let me read it because you might be- See this is what I mean about words. Do you ever realise after pressing the read more button that you have been trolled but the anger has already started? Sometimes when you press read more it doesn't show you anymore because there is no more. Is that what you mean? So if you're basically being trolled by YouTube. YouTube, yeah. Bastards. <laughs> Hope you guys don't make, make. Mind if I have a quick bit. Well, they shouldn't. They're not in the room. <laughs> How dare I virtually in front of them. Um, oh, the smoke is getting to me. I don't understand that question. So no. Are there any words such as succulent, moist, or sheathins that you or Lydia really f icky and queasy? Yes, uh, moist is one of those words. I don't like moist. Succulent I quite like because I like a little bit of succulent chicken. Uh, I don't like moist chicken. Ooh. Moist sounds sweaty. Uh, not just it's like bacteria, bacteria, bacteria. 
rotten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't sound moist. I don't know. Like, if you, it depends what context it's used in. C word doesn't roll off my tongue. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. I just can't say. What C word? No, the C word. Oh. I was asking if there's any words. The C word I can't stand. Moist is contentious for me. I don't, I'm not. I don't really enjoy the word. I don't like the word. No, to. I don't have any feelings against any words, really. Don't know what it I is. I really like the C word. I know you do. I just, I can't yeah. stand it. I don't mind people saying it. I, it does, doesn't feel right in my mouth when I say it. It's the, the noise of it doesn't offend me like moist does, but the, my mouth saying it. The only time I feel comfortable saying it is when I'm really fucking angry. Really angry. Then it just flows out. But otherwise, I really, I can't think of anything, right? Really. No. Are there any words? Oh, I read that one. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> would you consider investing in a succulent moist sheath and up stuff? I would actually. So send me the credentials and your business plan. Make sure you've got a three year cash flow forecast in there. And let me know what you're thinking about spending the money on. Don't do what they do in Dragon's Den or fucking Apprentice when they come up with a business model and go, here's what I want. So, what do you want the money for? Uh, I want it to. Yeah, but it's not in the business plan, is it? No. So. You got your cash flow forecast? No. So what's the product for? It's for, yeah, you say that now, but is it in the business plan? No. Don't be that person. Put it in the business plan. I know this is a joke, but at the same time, in all seriousness, I fucking can't stand The Apprentice. Like, I'm pretty sure they pick. We literally watched the last season and loved it. No, no, I, no, I love, <laughs> I love watching it. I just can't stand some of the, the people are on there because I'm pretty sure Lottie. She, yes, Lottie, she was very irritated, but she's really young, so she was a knob. She was a knob, but people You don't go on there. I'm not the same person at 19 I am now. Anyway. <coughs> she had horses. <laughs> That's kind of all. It does explain all. But the apprentice, I the some people on there are just I, they, I don't understand, they've, they've obviously been picked because there's something about them that's watchable. Which I get, it's TV. But then when they go to their interviews and stuff, and well, they put their CV forwards, they're going to tear them apart. If you're lying, I, who's a low, low-end business person, can go on the internet and find, and pay to find the information about you legally. So a massive company wouldn't even think twice about spending £300 to uh, uh, find out your company details, what you turned on last year. Who is the company manager? Who are the main key people in that? Finding out the products that are similar to yours. If you haven't even fucking bothered to find out if you're the only out there for it, or the only product out there for the particular market you are trying to sell to, they will find it. Because if someone on the CV says something to me, I'll, I'll, I'll go for a CV like it's, um, like I'm fucking Columbo. Columbo is a reference you don't understand. Like I'm fucking MacGyver, which I really, really just thought then is exactly the same sort of era. Who's a good detective nowadays? Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. I will find out if you're lying to me. And then I will bring it up in an interview. You're rambling now. So no, I'm not interested in that startup. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, um, Count Druncula. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Druncula. That's, that could be a song. Count, Count Druncula. I'll never do that again. Um. <laughs> Suited dance, suit, suited da- Suit daces. Suit daces. Suit daces, 1989. When I see 1989, I think, fuck, that's fucking old. And then I realised I was born in 85. My sister was born in, um, 1953. Yes, definitely. <laughs> um, is MSG optional? <laughs> if you want your food to taste okay, yes. If He's you want joking. To... Oh. <laughs> Well, someone else started tr got triggered there. No, seriously, I was going to ask what are the oh, top- they hadn't seen the second part, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I did fully. Uh, no, it got really you know. to start with. No, I've seen the question before. Oh. No, seriously, I was going to ask what are the top five ingredients for Chinese food store cupboard would be. I've read that ask about and Top five Chinese cupboard. Five Chinese what? cupboard. The top five Chinese ingredients for your cupboard what about your favourite ingredients the average person hasn't heard or used much? <gasps> oh, that sweet soy sauce that I've started eating. Yeah, kajap. I make that for the shop, mm. but kajap is a uh, is Malaysian uh, soy sauce. I think where the derivation of ketchup comes from. 
because it's a sweet sauce. It's very nice. Uh, Especially um, I know, yeah, I know the original ketchup was, I think, Chinese made of mushrooms, but I th also think there was a link. There's always been trade ports between Malaysia and China, hence why there's a massive Malaysian Chinese population. Like, mum. So, Kajap is probably one of the very good products to use. It's fantastic. It works with noodles, rice. It's almost smoky soy sauce. It's thick. Mm, very thick. Um, yeah. I'd suggest don't cook with it because uh, you can burn it easily. It's more of a something you add at the very end of cooking or as a, a topping to something. But the top five products, I would say light soy, dark soy, garlic powder, good quality five spice. And MSG. If you have those, you can literally make pretty much 80% of a Chinese takeaway menu. They, they also ask a second question is, what's your favourite sitcom and why is it Father Ted? <laughs> Lydia has never seen Father Ted. I'm aware of it. And it's fucking fantastic. I fucking love Father Ted. It's so good and it's so sad that the main character died of, and that's the reason why they stopped filming it is he died of lung cancer. Mm. And it was fan-fucking-tastic. The episode was, oh, I hear you're a racist now, Ted. <laughs> He's brilliant. Ted does something ridiculous. I can't really remember the, the, the outlines of it, but there's Chinese people there. So everyone thinks he's a racist because everyone on the island is slightly racist. They all back him and he's like, no, 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 I'm not racist. <laughs> and then he does this, oh, no, I remember it now. There was a, a, they just opened up the island for tourists and there was a Chinese tourist group going through. And Ted was doing like an impression of a Chinese person. <laughs> but a loud shade on it was going, hum, 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 hum. and turn around to the window and we were looking at it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. And the milk float. I'm rambling. We'll watch it. It's really good. But yeah, Father Ted is up there. Your favourite song? This country? This country, yeah. Yeah. I'll agree on that, it's really good. Very good. Question. Um, I-S-T-Y is, is YouTube on, or, or is Y-T. Comments quite a lot as a patron as well, so thank you very much for that. Lydia doesn't need to do any speaking. She can just sit there while we drool all over her. Anyway, as for the questions, here's one for her. What was it about his... <laughs> what was it about his... He put her? But it's meant to say, what was it about his Porsche business owner, fiance, that she first had a track to him? I don't understand the question. Basically, he's just saying all the reasons why someone would find him attractive. Because of the face. Because the face? So, like, I'm not particularly attractive, but what I would... I think you are, though. I know, I know, but, but like, it's a joke. He's joking around. I know, yeah. But, like... I'm so offended right now. But what he's saying is, so what is it about... The guy who has an expensive car and has a business. Yeah, well, I didn't know that to start with, did I? Because for about the first three weeks, I thought you were a pot wash. Yeah. I don't tell people that, well, most people know now because of YouTube or whatever. But back when I used to go out, I didn't tell anyone what I did. And if someone asked, I just said, don't do anything interested. I'm not interested in people who want to hang out with me because they think I make money. Well, I think the tattoo is very nice. Thank you. Yes. And um, the fact that where I live, most guys that talk to you are wankers. <sighs> and I think you wanted, you were just talking like a normal human being, which helped a lot. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. It's all like, oh yeah, so I do this, and oh yeah, you're really fit, and so should we go get a drink and like shag and stuff, yeah? Well, uh, I've done the leisure. <laughs> <laughs> but you were just like talking like you would talk to a person. Yeah. I Which mean, is a really big thing. I think a lot of guys try too hard, don't they, as well? Yeah. So stop being a knob and just speak normal. <laughs> yeah. And then I found out how annoying you were and it was too late. <laughs> Way too late. <laughs> I had a contract signed and everything. <laughs> so thank you for that question. Is, what is it? If that's your name, I apologise. <laughs> but if it's not, I just don't know how to say it. So if you could let me know, that'd be fantastic. I had a really horrible feeling that I saw something out the corner of my eye, but it was just my face in the reflection. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so David Williams says, you mentioned that you were working on a second book. 
Oh, I've answered that one in my Q&A. Dob FX 420B. Sounds like an old school modem. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. But you used to get the modems that would dial up and they'd go, the FX 420B sounds like one of those. Anyway. I don't know what that is. But I just, I just explained it. No, you didn't. You just went, and expected me to know what it was. I'm a musician and work in a recording studio. And my eyes lit up every time I see musical instruments in people's vlogs, especially people I wouldn't normally associate with music. I've noticed a couple of guitars and the piano in your vlogs. So who's a musician in the house? Do they write and perform? Or is it just a hobby? I just want to know more. Um, Lydia plays the piano very well, to a high grade. I play the piano... Well, not really. Better than me. I play the piano. I consider myself okay. I consider Lydia very good. Thank you. I play the guitar. And as I said, someone asked this in another question in the vlog, but I didn't pick this one up on when I was going through the questions. I also play clarinet, which I haven't done for 10 years, but I can still do most of the chords because it's just muscle memory. I can still remember what to do. Mouth organ, to a low standard. Guitar, I'm okay. I say porter, okay. I'm very aware. There's a lot I still need to learn on that. But I've been playing musical instruments since I was very, very young. Uh, piano since 12. Guitar since 18, 34 now. All self-taught. Apart, apart from clear. Apart from clarinet. <laughs> I, I had lessons for clarinet. I play flute to grade eight. You that's do. it. Grade eight is also an epic Ed Sheeran song, but that's by the way. So, yeah, I do write. Um, oh, we did buy a violin and that Viola. Didn't work. We bought a viola to to learn but we just haven't had the time to sit down and even try it. Actually that's a lie. We tried it. And it didn't make a sound. Didn't make a sound. I think the wax I think we it's got broken. <laughs> I think the wax we got a bit was shit but I tend to pick up instruments quite quickly as well. Yeah that was a bit of a challenge isn't it? Yeah. So thank you for that one Dob FX 420B. Pockets asks simple one what's your favourite Chinese takeaway dish? Did we answer that one before? I think so. No, we answered just Chinese. You answered Chinese. My favourite Chinese takeaway dish. I have a few. See, what I do is I, so I normally go for... A single one, isn't it? I normally go for like three. Sweet and sour pork, Hong Kong style. Boiled rice. I'll then get a chow mein of some sort. Depends what mood I'm in. I'll also get then garlic. You've done three. So? You just said I'd I choose won't. three. Oh. Five. <laughs> <laughs> duck and in garlic and onion spring onion sauce and then uh, always salt and pepper chilli wings anything from the Chinese takeaway will do yeah so thank you for that pockets next question is from Femi Flame who has commented on this channel a fucking lot so thank you for that uh, my question is one I noticed Lydia in the background at the shop is in your videos are, are you there all the time this one before, yes, we work together. Oh, uh, technically works for me, but. Yeah, yeah. But I order him around. <laughs> Does YouTube says Patreon generate enough income to be sustainable with the bills? If you could pay all your bills using those passive income sources, would you still run the restaurants? Maybe with a manager. Uh, so, long story short, is for myself, and because I like to be honest on this channel, I earn from YouTube ad revenue and it can dip and go up depending on how often we get the videos up between 15 and 20,000 a year from ad revenue. That, like I said, can go up and down. So at the moment it's looking like it's gonna be about 15,000 possibly, um, because we haven't done a video for quite a while. And last year we had a long time off, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Due to the summer, it was just it was hugely mental. Uh, we couldn't keep up, so we just didn't publish any videos. I'm guessing if we managed to get one up a week for a whole year, I'd be between 25 and 30, but I'm not. Um, Patreon gets me about 300 a month, so looking at 4,000, 5,000 a year. People jump on and off all the time. So between Patreon and YouTube ad revenue by itself, looking between 20 and good year, 30,000, as it stands at the moment, which like I've said in previous vlogs, which you may not have seen when you asked the question, is way more than enough money for me. I don't need to go buy fancy things, I just buy them because I have the money at the time. I don't need much in life other than Lydia. 
Um, nice. Not bad, not bad for that. Mate. And I could live off. I could, I could live off ten thousand pounds a year if I'm honest. Yeah, right. I could. Not the amount of KFC we buy in yeah, normal yeah. times. No, but I mean, I could live off a very small amount under minimum wage. I could live off. But like I said before, I will plough all my spare money into staying open. Everything I get is to support my staff and make sure they get a wage. When times are good, they're fantastic. Like me and Lydia, I nearly semi-retired before all this stuff was going on. Uh, I was very close to having people trained up enough so that they could, or well, Liam and Scott could run uh, four days a week and I wouldn't have to be there. And Liam obviously had to go home and now was on furlough. It's just, and uh, no, I'd always want to be there for at least three days of the week, so. Not to say I'm. Keep I'm, on top of things, don't you? I keep on top of things because no matter how much I trust them, it's not about them. It's about me loving what I do as well. So yes, kind of. I'd put. I would have a manager in place, but I'd still be going. I, I, me and Mum talk about this all the time. I know I'm rambling, but I think it's relevant. Me and Mum talk about this all the time. Even if we got on TV and we were still, and we we made millions, we would still at least go to work three to four days a week because. You enjoy it, don't you? Yeah. Going to work for me it keeps me sane for a start and especially when you're like me and your mind just whirs constantly, if I don't have something to focus on, it'll just spin. It's really, it doesn't make sense. Lots of you probably have the same thing, but I just can't shut off. So that answer, hopefully that answers your question. Three, do you ever get time to go on vacation? No. Oh, right, 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 no. <laughs> when we do go on vacation, it's literally 10 minutes down the road for a week. That's our vacation every November. In our defence though, we booked it thinking it was miles away. Yeah, at least an hour away. Yeah. <laughs> then we got the directions and it's literally 15 minutes away. But, yeah. but the owners of the place we go to, in fact, I, what I will do is actually link. I won't say what time of year we go, but we go at the same time. I've already said what time we go. Uh, <laughs> so, you know what time of year we go, we go there every year, I'll link the cottage below so if you ever want to book there and just be like, I want to stay in the same place that those two have stayed. It's incredible. It's, it's tiny. It's amazing. But we use it as our getaway. We're still close enough so if something does go seriously wrong, one of the outlets we can get there fast. But we're so secluded that if you try to break in and kill us and wear our skin, I, I could shoot you and no one would hear. <laughs> Just so you know. Just so you know, yeah. But it is lovely. It is lovely. It's really the place lovely. in our engagement video, if you haven't seen that already. So, and we only go there for five days. So that's our holiday. Yeah, a lot of food, don't we? <laughs> yeah. I don't wake up till like two o'clock because of certain. I don't know what it is about red wine, but it fucking wipes me out. We literally came back last year with more food than when we were left with. Yeah. Because we got that lamb, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> the, the owner, I won't say their names for, you know, privacy reasons, but the owner is an absolute star. Um, mm. They both are really lovely people. In their old own small holding, quite successful in the past, and just retired to just do small holding. They, they had some sheep that were, or lambs were going off to slaughter. Uh, we bought half of one, didn't we? Mm. It really fantastic. It was uh, the best. Really, really good. I'm really sorry for any vegetarians or vegans out there who had to hear that. Yeah. It's nice to know where the meat came from and it didn't travel far at all. Yeah, well looked after. Very well looked after. So, um, thank you very much, Femi Flemmy. Flemmy Flemmy. Flemmy Flemmy. Femi Flemmy. Thank you. Fem Flemmy. Fem. Fem Flemmy. Thank you very much for that. Fruit Loops UK comments every day. How Debs? Um, always leaves a fantastic comment. It literally inspires me just to keep going. Well, actually, all your amazing content inspires me to keep going, but she goes the extra mile like every day. Just like um, Bruce, uh, one seven seven. There are so many of you. There's literally about 30 of you who comment without fail every day, and whatever you comment nearly makes me want to cry. Oh. Okay. Just awesomely in my face there. Um, don't be sorry, you're awesome. <laughs> Uh, and for the, oh, how do you meet? Yeah, we've been through that one already. But thank you very much, Fruit Loop UK, for that. Ryan Ricardo says, what hobbies do you have outside of cooking? None. <laughs> There's no time. Yeah, there is no time. <laughs> it's 
but thank you very much for Ryan Ricardo, you comment quite often as well. Jim Patterson asks, how well do you both know each other? Uh, oh, no, this is a nice little thing. He basically says we should... Get... Yeah, I've read that one, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah. What do you both like to do to relax and have fun? Not go to work. <laughs> That's the dream. But even when even when I'm not at work, I'm still working. Walk, I like walking. Yeah, Lydia likes walking. I love walking. I don't. In the countryside, not like down the street. That's quite relaxing. Yeah, it's quite relaxing. I'm just going to check to see if we've got any space left on the card. There's about 25 more. Right, okay. So this video. Wait, wait! Okay. So this video has overran quite a bit, and I was only going to do it in 20 section um, minute blocks. So what I think I will do is maybe, you guys will know the answer anyway by the time this goes up because I'm gonna ask the question on my community feed that YouTube has fucking given me, which was a fucking mistake, YouTube. Well, now I can just call out shit whenever I want. And then, um, so yeah, what I'll do is I'll put a poll up asking if you want the full video or if I should split it up into 20 minute segments, which would be, Probably better. Yeah, which would probably be five, no, four, and one slightly longer one. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Go where? Don't, don't go. Just say something. Like what? Just say, may the odds be ever in your favour. May the odds be ever in your favour. That's a weird thing to say. Who says that? I don't know. Yeah, stay safe, stay in. Bel Delora, this is the way. Live long and fucking prosper, you fucking beautiful people.